So guys, <clears throat> yes, it's me. Yes, it's my bedroom. It's my 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 new bedroom actually. Uh, you guys probably haven't seen this yet. I could have made my bed. Oh, look, that looks a little bit better. I am in my dressing gown, guys. There is one thing and one thing only. I've just drunk my first cup of coffee and and I've just done the thumbnails for the two Wonderlic test videos that you've probably already seen. Yes, I got 30 in my first one, wasn't happy, went back to try and beat it, got 29. Still wasn't happy. So today, being the 23rd of January, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. If I can't beat 30 this time, I'm going to take it. But I feel like I can. I feel like, look, I'm not going to have any practice this time. I, I probably should have had practice last time. I'm going to keep it consistent. There's no practice. I've literally woken up, sat down, found a test. In fact, it's the original test that we did the first time where we got compared to Philip Rivers, having got 30 out of 50. Okay, we're going to do this again. I've got, I've got a notepad. I've got a pen. Is the pen working? Yes, it is. It was pretty hard last time. I'm not going to lie. Um, it was in depth. Um, there's some questions that I simply don't know. I mean, yes, I was good at speeches, uh, but I probably wasn't that good at descriptive writing. Yes, I was great at sports, but I wasn't good at reading comprehension. You know what I mean? But I did, I did seem to still get in that top five to 10% of the class each and every test until, you know, fifth form, sixth form, when I just simply did not give a shit anymore. I thought these things that I'm learning are not what I'm interested in. I'm not going to try. But what I feel like is that in my early you know, school years, if I did apply myself, if I was interested, and this applies to my life now, I can see this now, you know, if I'm interested in something, I'll go in 110%, I'll, I'll learn all I can about it, I'll become an expert, or hopefully. But if I'm not interested in it, well, it's, it's less than zero. It's not, even, it's not even 10%. It is not even 0%. It's less than zero. I'm not interested whatsoever. If I'm not interested in it, I'm not interested in it. I'm either all in or all out. Now, some of you will say that's a curse. Some of you will say that's a blessing. All I can say is that if I don't beat the score of 30 today, I'm going to be slightly disappointed. Um, but it is what it is, and we move on. But I have to do this a third time. There's, there's just no, no other way. If I sound out a question, all good. If I don't, all good. Now I just need to try and reduce this so I don't have to scroll. Okay, now I firmly believe after thinking about it for the last 30 seconds, I firmly believe that skipping questions that you just don't know or, you know, you spend probably 10, 15 seconds on and they're just not making sense whatsoever, you're, you're simply not able to sort of work through that answer. Just skip it. I feel like skipping answers is going to be crucial in my success in getting over 30 in this test. All right, here we go. I'm going to clean my glasses because they're dirty as hell. 50 questions, 12 minutes. Time flies, so don't waste too much time on any single question. Okay, are we ready? Yes, we are. Let's do this. Am I smarter than a football player? Well, let's find out. What is the next number in the sequence? 4 plus 7 plus 14 plus 28. Man, this is the same one as before. I can't do this. This is the same one as before. We need to find a new test. Sorry guys, we can't do the same one, surely. Can we do the same one? I, I don't know. Beat the Wonderlick. I reckon this one, I, I feel like we did this one last time. There is a full length interactive Wonderlick test at the bottom of this article. But we should go over a few rules first. No. Alright, here we go. We'll do this one. Beat the Wonderlick.com. This is going to be legit. Same rules apply and uh, let's, let's start. Obtain Vehement
Which three of the following words have similar meanings? Seventy five fours, three hundred. Feel like we're making good time here. Sixty, hundred and twenty. 156 in 78 days, two. If the first two statements are true. Jim is a 60 foot by 60 foot wall covered. Twenty five, fifty five, fifty seven. Complete complicate. In this series. Double, double, double. One forty four. Store made nine thousand. Sunglass store bought five thousand dollars. Five pairs are exact duplicates. Two. A total of eighty four hours of spent training six new employees. Eighty four divided by six. <laughs> Uh, is that six twelves? No. Fourteen. So five fourteens is seventy. Ah. Which in the following group of numbers is smallest? I'd better get this right. Which three choices need to create figure on the left? Twenty-five, 
28 days of prison save $42. $1.50. Ambiguous. Opposite. Ah, oh, I'm just going to guess that one. Pack of paper costs dollar ninety seven. Eighty eight. Which three of the following words have similar meanings? <clears throat> Determine, diminish, downplay, devalue. Adopt and adapt have adopt, adapt have similar meanings. The hours of sunlight in September is most similar to the hours of sunlight in which month? I'm going to go August. That's a trick one. What is the next number in the series? 122, what's that? 13, 13, 13, 13, 57. Hunger is to eat. Money is to purchase. Which three of the following words have similar meanings? Deliver, trust, bear, believe, bring. Bring, deliver, bear. Tickets to play. I feel like we're fucking making good. Forty people? Brought in four forty? That's too much, man. Let's go next one. Don't count your chickens. Yep. The sixth month of the year is June. In a three year period, the revenues of a corp, millions, 42, 27, 19. Of B Corp, 27, 42, and 16. Which crap below best? Okay, fucking hell. 42, 27, 19. I think it's B, I'm going to go with that one. Photograph is to blurry as knife is to dull. Rearrange all the words in the bold below to make the best sentence. Is a sentence. Perceive, discern. The cost of 150 feet of wire is 1920. How much would 45 feet cost? Oh God. Divide by three is eight twenty. Eight twenty five? Eight twenty seven. So forty five would be probably about seven twenty four. I'm gonna go with that one. Two of the following properties have similar meanings. Which ones are they? Fortune favors bold. Bold. When in Rome, do what Romans do, birds with flea the flock together. Earliest date. We're on the 50th question, guys. Holy shit. I really have smashed through these. Um, it's got to be 2146, July, June, June 15th. Fucking hell. I, okay. 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 We got through all the questions, but I got 34. Okay, I'm feeling much better about that. I reckon, I reckon I'm around about a 34. I reckon I, I reckon I am. Now that test I've done before. We did that in the second Wonderlick test. In the last one I got 29. Today I got 34. There was a couple of questions that I 
think I may have seen before. But what I will say is that without any practice, without even thinking about the test before sitting down this morning, some of those questions that I've seen before, I actually skipped because they looked a lot harder than they did the first time. It's funny, you know, it's funny, it, you know, different brains see different questions in different ways. And I honestly feel like I saw different questions today in different ways than I saw the same questions the last time. But here we go. There we go. I'm sitting here in my dressing gown in the morning. I needed to do this. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to stop. We did three Wonderlook tests. 30, 29 and 34. So I'm going to, I'm going to take the average of all three. We're going to go, I'm going to say I'm a, I'm a solid 32. And with that, I welcome you to challenge yourself. It's pretty fun. So I'm going to get ready for the day and uh, well, I'll be, I'll be seeing you in another video very shortly. Thank you very much guys and peace out.